21-year-old Milena Sorto arrived in Tijuana from Honduras four weeks ago after weeks of traveling with her two children. And now it looks like she'll have to wait some more before she gets the chance to talk to a Customs and Border Protection official about her request for asylum. When we asked Sorto exactly how the asylum process worked, she didn't really seem to know. I didn't know anything about asylum. I only knew that they were going to give us asylum. But then they threw tear gas at us. If Sordo asks for asylum at the border, she will be referred to a United States Citizenship and Immigration Services official for review. USCIS found that 76 percent of asylum seekers had, quote, credible fear from October of last year to this year. During that time period, they say it was the most number of claims they had ever seen. USCIS defines credible fear as anyone who has a fear of persecution or torture. They say the threshold is low on purpose to capture all people who might be in trouble. It's really ugly over there, and I wanted to help my family. Once credible fear is established, an asylum seeker is referred to an immigration judge who then decides if asylum will be granted. In a statement to KPBS, USCIS spokesman Michael Barr says, quote, the extremely low bar for establishing credible fear is ripe for fraud and abuse. This is because once an individual overcomes this low threshold, the vast majority are then referred to an immigration judge and most are released on a promise to appear for a court date weeks, months or years down the line, regardless of whether they plan to show up. Department of Justice data from 2012 to 2016 shows that 60 to 75 percent of asylum seekers who were released from custody did show up for their court dates. From October of last year to April of this year, the most recent numbers available, 22 percent or approximately 6,300 people were granted asylum by the Department of Justice. Almost 12,000 people were denied. No, no, Returning isn't an option after so much suffering in the journey. I can't go back. Whatever her chances are, Sorto says she's going to stay hopeful no matter how long it might take. Priya Shreeder, KPBS News.